Well, we've had a sunny and windy day today. Now the colder temperatures are really starting to settle in. Meteorologist Kate Bilo is here with what we can expect for the rest of the evening. Hi, Kate. Hi, Jessica. Yeah, it is cold outside and definitely feeling different than we felt this weekend when temperatures, at least to start the weekend, got into the 60s yesterday and even earlier today. It was relatively mild despite the damp weather. Now we're feeling that November chill. You can see it's a clear night in Philadelphia, but it is still quite blustery. So temps in the 40s feel more like the 30s and that will be the case overnight. Here's current conditions. 48 degrees feels about 5 degrees colder though. It feels like 43 right now. Winds are out of the west northwest 13 miles an hour sustained but winds are still gusting upwards of 20 miles an hour here tonight and that is definitely again making you need the coat and maybe even the gloves if you're going to be outside for any length of time here tonight. As we've said we've had some ups and downs. Last Wednesday it was only 40 degrees. You know you remember that day and then Thursday chilly again, but look at the warm up. We skipped the 50s altogether, went right to the 60s Friday and Saturday. Yesterday, 59. Today, mild as well, at least in the morning, but then temperatures really tanked in the afternoon. And it's going to be a clear, starlit night with temps in the 40s dropping eventually into the mid 30s by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. So clear and chilly, but it is going to warm up again as we head toward Thanksgiving. The problem is that warm up also comes with some rain. So this morning's rain has moved out to sea. It's over the Canadian Maritime provinces. You can see some lake effect snow starting up with those northwest winds over the Great Lakes. And our next system is already starting to gain some legs here over portions of the Midwest. That's going to lift a warm front through here on Wednesday. And then the subsequent cold front passage is what's going to bring the wet weather for Thanksgiving Day. So tonight is dry, 35 degrees, clear, chilly, breezy at times. A northwest wind with gusts to 20 miles an hour throughout the course of tonight. And that means when you wake up tomorrow morning, here's our feels like temperatures. It'll feel like the 20s in many spots. This is 7.30 a.m., feeling close to freezing in Philadelphia, but you'll wake up to a feels like temperature in the mid 20s in cities like Reading and Lancaster, 28 your feels like temperature in Millville, 29 tomorrow morning in Atlantic City, and even as we head toward noon still feeling like the 30s. So tomorrow's high is below average by about 5 degrees. 48 degrees will be the high. Sunny skies, cool and crisp with the northwest wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And that system I just showed you over the Midwest, we're going to see it come through Wednesday into Thursday. Now a warm front lifts north on Wednesday. That's mainly going to miss us to the north. So here on Wednesday, we're in what's known as the warm sector of this storm. It's relatively mild, temps in the mid 50s, and I think we will see a few breaks of sun. But Wednesday night into Thursday, that's when this front comes through, and we're going to be seeing scattered showers throughout the day, Thanksgiving Day, steadiest in the morning, and then tapering a bit in the afternoon, but still. 3.30 p.m. Still looking at that green overhead. It does clear out as we get into Friday with high pressure building back in. So your Thanksgiving Thursday forecast, 63 degrees, cloudy and mild. Showers are likely throughout the day, but it's the warmest Thanksgiving. If we hit 63, it'll be the warmest Thanksgiving since 2005, 15 years since we've had a Thanksgiving this mild. So if you are sitting outside trying to do the responsible social distancing thing, as long as you have some sort of covering, some sort of tent or umbrella, some Something like that, at least you won't need the heavy coats for your Thanksgiving meal. Your eyewitness weather seven day forecast brings the sun back pretty quickly. So tomorrow's cool and crisp. Wednesday, a few breaks of sun, 55 degrees with showers at night. Showers likely throughout Thanksgiving, and then Friday and Saturday look great. Some sun high near 60 both days. Sunday and Monday, though, showers return, and we are going to see temperatures tank just a little bit. And once temps tank, you might start thinking, when are we going to see our first? snowfall and how much will we see this season? Well, tune in tonight at 11 o'clock for my winter forecast, breaking down some of the variables we look at to determine just what this winter may have in store for us. I'll have that again tonight here on CBS 3 at 11 o'clock. Yuki, back over to you. Mm, I'll be watching, that's for sure. All right, Kate, thank you.